Hello friends, very good evening. Welcome to the Hindu Editorial Analysis. The title of today's editorial is Just Fine. The word just is a beautiful word. The meaning of this word just is very very interesting. Just can be used in multiple different ways. One way of use is of just is something we already know. I have just come. I have just gone. I have just finished this work. That kind of a meaning. Or just fine. Just money. Just fame. Something like that. This meaning is something that we all know. There is another meaning to this word just which means fair. Which means equitable. It is related to justice. So there is another meaning to this word which is related to justice. For example, just society. When I say just society, it means a society which treats all its people fair, in a fair manner or a fair society. So just has two meanings. One meaning we already know. The other meaning is fair. Right? Example, just society which means a fair society. A society in which every person is treated in a fair manner. In Hindu, whenever in Hindu editorials, whenever you see titles, the titles are beautifully worded. <coughs> in this particular scenario, the word just, the word just means our regular meaning, our regular just. But since just also has the other meaning, and in this editorial also talks about justice, it looks quite interesting. Right? It looks quite interesting. So today's editorial is about uh, justice for environmental crimes. Environmental crimes. The government is coming up. Uh, common government is planning to make some amendments to EPA, Environmental Protection Act 1986. So let's look at some background about this act and then get into the editorial as usual. This particular document that you see on the screen was downloaded from the website of Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. You can see here and it was uploaded on 1st July 2022. The title says notice for public consultation. So the government of India, Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change is giving a notice for public consultation which means it is putting this draft in front of us and it is asking us the people to come out with suggestions. So the government, the ministry is asking people of India to come out with suggestions. A true nature, a true feature of democracy. In a democracy, the governments must consult people, must consult people. They must take the considerations or the opinions of people into account whenever they are formulating a law or whenever they are making any changes to existing law. So what is the subject of this proposal for amendment in the Environment Protection Act 1986? We all know this particular act came into force on 19th November 1986 and this particular act establishes the framework for studying, planning, implementing long term requirements of environmental safety and laying down a system of speedy and adequate response to situations threatening environment. Whenever a situation arises that threatens environment, we must respond in a speedy and adequate manner. For that, we had, we still have this particular act. Now, the government is trying to decriminalize certain provisions. There are some provisions of the act which criminalizes the violators. For example, someone comes and violates some environmental norms. Then he can be imprisoned. He can be put behind the bars or it can be fined as well. Those are the existing provisions. Now, in this amendment, the government is trying to decriminalize, which means it will not be considered as a criminal offense. It will not be considered as a criminal offense. So, government is coming out with some amendments. We will look at those amendments as well. And the government is asking us to come out with our suggestions 
on or before 21st july and we have to give our suggestions we have to send our opinions or comments to this particular mail id and this should be the subject of the email okay very very important if you are a spirited upsc aspirant if you are a spirited individual if you are a public spirited individual then you will take up the mantle on you you will take up the responsibility you will come out with your own suggestions that you want to give to protect our environment right alternatively we can also send our comments by post to this particular address very very important document look at it so in this i am not going to uh, every every statement is important so take a look at this i am just increasing the i am just zooming it in look at this environmental protection act 1986 epa was enacted under article 253 of the constitution and it came into force on 19th november 1986 what is article 253 what does it talk about i want you to put your put it in our comment section right and this particular uh, act establishes the framework for environmental safety and a system of speedy and adequate response to situations threatening environment we have read about it in the existing provisions as per the existing provisions if there is a violator someone who violates the environmental norms he can be punished up to 5 years of imprisonment plus a fine up to 1 lakh rupees or both you can charge him a fine of 1 lakh rupees or you can put him behind bars for 5 years this is what the current provisions say and if he continues to do if he continues to violate even after getting punishment every day he will have to pay a fine of 5000 rupees and the imprisonment may be extended to 7 years may 7 years if the violation continues beyond a period of 1 year after he has been convicted once the judge decides that this person has violated the norms and gives him sentence even after that if he continues to violate beyond one year his prison sentence may be extended to 7 years these are the existing provisions in the law right some concerns were raised from certain stakeholders because of which the government is planning some changes some changes some substantive means the most important the the ones which are really important so we are looking at two important changes here see first thing failure or contravention of the provision such as submit submitting reports if you don't submit reports on time if you don't furnish information on time these are simple violations these simple violations will be dealt through imposing penalty not imprisonment you will be penalized but you will not be imprisoned who will decide the penalty an adjudicating officer will decide the penalty for example if you get into serious violations simple violations only penalty but if you are causing injury or if you are causing death of another person right in such case you will be dealt with under indian penal code 1860 with section 24 of ep act are you getting it serious violations are dealt with ipc and simple violations will be dealt with only fine that is why just fine only fine and no imprisonment that is the proposed change second thing creation of fund there will be a fund by name environmental protection fund is all the penalties will move into this particular fund the penalty imposed by adjudicating officer will move into this particular fund so these are the changes these are the amendments some important amendments there are more amendments but these are some of the important amendments that the uh, government is planning to make now it is asking us to comment on them give our own opinion so let's go through the editorial now the title says just fine the title of the editorial says just fine so let's look at the editorial line by line justice for environmental crimes must be dispensed quickly and equitably equitably means in a fair manner in a fair manner equitable 
means fair dispense means give they should be given quickly and in a fair manner for all which means all environmental crimes must be dealt with immediately we need speedy justice union environmental ministry tasked with safeguarding india's forests and its environmental assets proposes to amend sections of key environmental legislation and make them less threatening to potential violators very very important sentence union environmental ministry something that has the responsibility of safeguarding safeguarding means protecting india's forests and its environmental assets now this particular ministry proposes to amend amend means change certain sections of key environmental legislation legislation means act in that act it proposes to change or amend certain sections and make them less threatening what is the meaning of less threatening earlier they had two things potential violators or violators of environmental norms had to face fine also imprisonment sometimes both but now they will only face fine they will not face imprisonment so it is less threatening now to potential potential means possible violators violators means people who will violate the norms people who will not follow the norms of environment india has eight cornerstone pieces of legislation that define a regulatory framework to ensure that natural resources are not wantonly exploited wantonly means deliberately intentionally just to make sure that natural resources are not intentionally exploited we have a solid regulatory framework which means someone if he is coming out to violate or exploit natural resources we have a law to take care of him today and acts of pollution are apprehended and there is a mechanism to punish and deter violators apprehend means to arrest someone people who are causing pollution we can today's law allows them to allows us to arrest them and there is a mechanism also to punish them by imprisoning them or by penalizing them and deter violators what is the meaning of the word deter deter is the exact opposite of encourage encourage means to to make someone do something deter means discourage right how will someone be discouraged let's say i am a person i want to violate some environmental norms how will the government deter me which means discourage me from doing it by threatening how if you violate you will be put behind bars or you will be imposed fines by giving a threat by giving a threat of punishment government can deter me deter means discourage me from doing something wrong i'll give you a simple example in schools if you go late to school what will your teacher do she will punish you the fear of punishment the fear of punishment deters the students from going late are you getting it students if they are thinking of going late they will think of the punishment that the fear of punishment will deter means which discourage them to go late which means they will go on time that is how the word deter is used i hope you have understood i'll try to give loads of examples for you to understand the words and remember them in an organic and natural manner instead of memorizing instead of memorizing them i want you to understand the uses of every word so this particular auditory analysis is a combination of improving your english skills building your vocabulary building your ability to comprehend editorials ability to read in a proper manner plus giving all the background that is required to understand it from the perspective of upsc right it's a mixture it's a mix of multiple things under provisions under provisions in the existing legislation violators are punishable with imprisonment up to 5 years we have already read this or with a fine up to 1 lakh rupees we have read this as well or with both were 
violations to continue if they continue doing violations look at this structure of sentence were violations to continue means if they continue to do violations there is an additional fine of up to 5000 rupees for every day during which such failure or contravention continues after the conviction right even after the conviction if they continue to violate law they will be fined 5000 rupees every day right contravention means going in conflict with the law not following the law so there is this beautiful word called conviction i would like to give you some some knowledge some thing to remember this word conviction see take an example this is a person and this person is accused of stealing people are saying people are making allegations that this person is a thief who are saying it people some people are saying and the police person policeman comes and arrests him arrests him right so police person comes and arrests him saying he is a thief can a police decide whether he is a thief or not no what will the police do the police has to submit him in front of the justice or the court they have to submit him in court and there is an adjudicator or the judge we have a judge who will listen to this person called accused we call him accused accused and the judge will also listen to the policeman policeman has to provide evidence after looking at evidence if the judge thinks this person is the culprit <coughs> and awards him sentence for 1 year or 6 months or whatever it is then we call him a convict then we say he was convicted he was convicted whenever you see the word conviction that means once the judge has pronounced that this person is guilty of a crime not when a police says or when people say only when the court says he has done something wrong we call him a convict we call it a conviction so this is the meaning of conviction don't take it easy it has a deep and broad meaning conviction has a broad meaning there is also a provision for jail terms to extend to 7 years we have gone through this also if they continue to violate beyond 1 year after conviction they can be there, there is a provision to extend jail term to 7 years under the new amendments proposed the ministry says it wants to weed out fear of imprisonment for simple violations we have looked at this as well simple violations like not submitting reports right all these things they will be considered as simple violations only fine will be imposed so the ministry wants it wants to weed out weed out means remove completely remove this kind of fear and therefore have such violations invite only monetary fines only penalties that you can pay with money however serious environmental crimes that cause grave means serious serious injury or death would invite imprisonment if there are serious imprisonments serious environmental crimes then they would invite imprisonment under the indian penal code under the indian penal code these penalties would be decided by whom an adjudication officer and transferred to environment protection fund we have seen all of them in the document moreover the quantum or the amount quantum means amount the amount or the size of potential fines has been raised from beyond 1 lakh rupees to as much as 5 crores earlier it only used to be it used to be 1 lakh rupees now the government plans to increase the quantum of penalty to quantum of penalty to as much as 5 crore rupees these proposals are not yet law remember these proposals are not yet law and have been placed in the public domain for feedback all the proposals were put in front of people for feedback they are not yet law 
the question of whether the threat of imprisonment acts as a deterrent has a long history with both proponents and opponents very important sentence i want you to pay full attention here what is the meaning of deterrent deterrent is something that deters you which means something that discourages you from doing something wrong let's take the example of school again the fear of punishment the fear of punishment acts as a deterrent for you right for you from going late otherwise you might even go late to school just because there is a fear of punishment you would want to go on time similarly is the threat of imprisonment can is the is the threat of imprisonment a good deterrent or not this is the question here the threat of imprisonment is it really deterring or discouraging people from violating environmental norms nobody knows it is a long history of with both proponents and opponents some people say yes it acts as a deterrent and some people say no it will not act as a deterrent the proposed amendments do not cover the destruction of forest and wildlife which make up a substantial fraction of environmental crime among environmental crimes the most substantial portion is taken up by destruction of forest and wildlife <coughs> and these proposed amendments do not cover them and would continue to invite existing penal provisions for this particular problem environmental crimes existing penal provisions will continue to apply continue to apply research on environmental crime in the united states and europe suggests that fining is the most common mode of punishment even in advanced economies like usa and and europe fining is the most common mode of punishment india has a long history of corporate violations as well as a woefully slow redress system woefully means miserably a very bad india has a very slow redress system even if there is a problem even if there is a crime we take a lot of time to redress it our justice is always delayed and we have so many violations in india an analysis by the center for science and environment found that indian courts took between 9 to 33 years to clear a backlog of cases for environmental violations look at the time taken by indian courts 9 to 33 years starting with 2018 close to 45000 cases were pending for trial for pending for trial right they are still pending and another 35000 cases were added in the year already 45000 were pending and 35000 new cases were added more than 90% of the cases were pending for trial in five of the seven major environmental laws out of the seven major environmental laws majority of the cases are pending for trial in five while fines could theoretically help with faster redress what is advantage of on having only fine he will simply pay and close the case so we will have faster redress look at the perspective of government there is a person who commits an environmental crime under existing provisions he has two things imprisonment and fine if it is only fine most likely he will pay and close the case if there is an imprisonment what will he do he will contest which means he will move to higher court he will move to higher court and the case will drag on and on and on now the government is thinking if we remove this part completely and if we have only fines most likely they will pay and they will move on with life so we can redress we can we can close cases quickly that's what government is thinking but what hindu is saying if there is a large amount of fine large amount of fine that runs into crores even then they will go to they will go to higher courts and they will contest it is like imprisonment right if it is 1 lakh rupees 2 lakh rupees or 5 50000 rupees companies will pay if you are if you are charging them if you are levying fines up to 2 crores 1 crore then again they might go to higher courts again the justice that the time taken to dispense justice will again extend that's what the hindu editorial is saying
large environmental fines will continue to be contested in courts adding to the prevailing practice of tardy tardy means delayed justice prevailing means something that's happening today something that's happening all around the threat of imprisonment might have acted as a deterrent in india where the effectiveness of environmental regulation is under par compared to us and uh, european union europe our regulation is under par not as as good as them right so india threat of imprisonment might have acted as a deterrent so it is it might not be a good idea to remove this provision because the threat of imprisonment might act as a deterrent might discourage them from doing something wrong justice for environmental crimes must be dispensed quickly instead of bringing amendments to the law it is better the government awards justice for environmental crimes which means deals with the existing crime deals with the existing cases in a quick and equitable manner in a fair manner before tinkering tinkering means changing with the law to make it less foreboding what is the meaning of foreboding foreboding what is the meaning of foreboding foreboding means uh, uh, what do you call fear about future fear about what will happen a feeling that something bad will happen feeling that something bad will happen when there is a threat of imprisonment people will have this feeling oh my god if i don't submit report on time if i don't adhere to the norms i might be put behind bars that feeling of fear that is foreboding now the government is trying to make it less foreboding because at the max you will only pay fine you will not be put behind bars or there will not be any imprisonment so it is reducing the risk or it is making less risky it is making less threatening for the potential violators instead of doing that the government must dispense with all the existing cases quickly and equitably that's what the editorial says at the end right this is how you need to understand the editorial on a daily basis take care bye bye